In this video, I detail how to go about transferring your Fitbit data over to Garmin Connect. This has recently been made easier with a handy new tool. While there isn't a method to continuously sync Fitbit data with Garmin Connect, Garmin Connect does permit the import of Fitbit data. However, for those intending to use both services simultaneously, the process may prove to be more cumbersome than advantageous. But switching to a Garmin device from a Fitbit doesn't mean leaving behind the valuable health and fitness data that you've amassed over time. The first step in the journey is exporting your Fitbit data to an external file. There are a few important things to know here. Fitbit allows you to choose between exporting 31 days of recent data or a comprehensive archive of the lifetime of your Fitbit account. The first comes in the form of a CSV file, the second in the form of a JSON file. This will be important later on in this guide. To initiate the export of your recent Fitbit account data, simply navigate to the Fitbit.com dashboard, click the gear icon, select Settings, followed by Data Export. From there, choose the desired time period and data, then click Download. Fitbit offers this month and last month as preset options. However, you also have the flexibility to customize the export for any specific 31-day period, tailoring the data to suit your individual needs. For those who want to export a complete archive of their Fitbit account data, the process is just as straightforward. Go to the Fitbit.com dashboard, click the gear icon, select Settings, then Data Export. Under Export Your Account Archive, click Request Data. You will receive an email at the address associated with your Fitbit account, asking you to confirm your data archive request. Once confirmed, you'll receive another email containing a link to download your Fitbit account data. It is important to note that, depending on the volume of your Fitbit data, generating your account data archive may take up to a few days. You can monitor the status of your request within your data export account settings. You've exported your Fitbit data, now it is time to import this into your Garmin Connect account. The thing to know here is that Garmin only allows the import of CSV files, which means you cannot import JSON files, so by default, you can only import monthly Fitbit files into Garmin Connect. The type of data you can transfer over includes historical body composition data. This encompasses weight, BMI, and body fat percentage data. You can also import activity data, which encompasses calories burned, steps taken, distance covered, active minutes, and floors climbed. Your Fitbit activity minutes are converted into Garmin intensity minutes. As far as steps to import a Fitbit CSV into Garmin, they are as follows. Log into your Garmin Connect account. Click on the cloud icon with an upward arrow located in the top right corner of the page. Select Import Data. Click Browse to locate and select the files exported from Fitbit. Click Import Data again and choose the units of measure that correspond to your Fitbit preferences. Ensure that the date formatting in the file matches the standard format as incorrect formatting may prevent successful data uploads. Click Continue and your data should now be visible in Garmin Connect. During the import process, you have the option to select units of measurement. If you wish to change the units after uploading the data, simply import the file again and choose your desired units. This will overwrite the previously uploaded data with the new units of measurement. The problem with the above approach is that you have to upload each month as an individual CSV file. As mentioned, Fitbit exports monthly files into a Garmin-compatible CSV format, while the total archive is exported as a JSON. But now there's a convenient platform that takes that JSON file in zip format and converts it into a CSV file that Garmin can read. On the website, it states that the tool does not retain any of your data beyond the scope of the conversion process. The conversion platform can be found on this link. I have also pasted it in the description of this video. The authors of the tool note that it is hosted on a free server, so you may need to patiently access the URL multiple times to wake it up before using the service. For users with an extensive history of over a year, they recommend using the option to email the results to yourself, as the website may time out before completing the conversion process.